All right, friends, it is Friday and we are wrapping up our grammar for the week. We have talked about two different things this week for grammar. We have talked about adjectives, which you are experts at. You have been putting those in your writing for months now. We know an adjective describes the noun. But then yesterday I introduced a word you might not have heard before yesterday, an adverb. So I'm going to play a fun song for you that kind of refreshes your memory on the adverb. And then we will go from there. All right, here we go. share so we know oopsies let me pause that you're telling us about nouns now <laughs> hey there we go that was interesting. They wanted to teach us about nouns too. All right, so we know adverbs go with the verb. The verb is the action word, right? And an adverb um, tells us how, when, or where something is happening. All right, so I want you to go ahead and get out your student skill practice book. And I want you to turn to page 67. I am going to share my screen with you again. And I'll have to do that two times because that's how it always works for me. All right, here we go. So we are on page 67, guys. And we are actually going to skip part A. Part A is a little tricky. If you want to try part A on your own, you can, but um, you do not have to. We are going to look down at part B, and it says label the underlying word by writing adjective, which we know is a what? Describing word. Or adverb, which we know um, tells us how, when, or why something is happening. All right, um, so let's go ahead and let's do them. The number one, the kids at school looked at the big collage as they walked by. All right, is big an adjective or an adverb? Go ahead and write it down. Is it a describing word or is it telling us how, when, or why something is done? It is a describing word, it's an adjective. So you can abbreviate adjective by just writing ADJ. All right, let's look at the next one. Students started putting comments on colorful sticky notes next to the collage. Describing word, is it an adjective or is it an adverb, friends? That is another adjective. Let's look at number three. The number of comments quickly grew. All right, 
If you remember in the video, and I told you yesterday, a big clue is if we look at this word, what is it ending in? It's ending in ly. And a lot of times, adverbs will end in ly. Quickly tells us, and I put, yeah, how, tells us how something is done, right? So that is an adverb. Number four, Mia and her friends, oh, I'm seeing it again, happily read the comments. Okay, I know verb, my verb is read. How did her friends read it? They read it happily. When it describes how, that is an adverb. And then you go ahead and try number five by yourself. Read it in your head as I read out loud. They love reading the nice things people said about their work. Okay. What do you think? Write it down. Adjective. All right. So now that we have a pretty good idea of what an adjective and now an adverb are, let's go ahead and turn the page. You are going to work on page 68 by yourself. I will read the directions with you. This will be a grade. Read the sentences. Add the words from the chart to complete each sentence. So we have adjectives and we have adverbs. Okay. So you are plugging them in to make them make sense. You will be posting for your discussion post. Circle them now, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I want you to do the whole thing. I want an adult to check it and go over it with you. And then I want you to just post the word that you are writing. You do not have to write the whole sentence. You are just posting the adjective or the adverb for six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Have a groovy grammar time, and I will talk to you later. Bye.